Alright, let's clear something up. First of all, I do love this movie. I It's a very, very good movie. Love it. Chris Evans, beautiful. Robert Downey Jr., you're beautiful. Even you over there, the Black Panther with you and your, your Panther, Panther look itself. I love it all. Love all the love most of the things about this movie. There are just some things towards the end and a certain thing that I didn't really touch on. I mean, I touched on it a little bit in my actual review of the movie, but I just thought that after watching it a second time, there were some things that I was just kind of like, I don't know about this. But I still do love this movie, so yeah, that's all I'm, that's all I'm saying. Also, spoilers, although if you're watching some guy talk about this on YouTube, then you've probably already seen the movie, but you know, I'm a nice guy, so I'll warn you anyways. Alright, so first on the chopping block is the villain. Now, in my review, I said that I didn't like the villain because I didn't think he was necessary and all that, and that he wasn't a good character. But after watching it a second time, I actually found myself appreciating the character himself a lot more. Like, I actually really understood why he was doing all this, you know, because his family was in Sokovia and the Avengers messed all that up. So I actually get that part. What I don't like is his plan. It just, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And it's like, he's really just improvising throughout the whole thing. Cause just kind of doing things to mess with the Avengers. Like he has no idea that the that the Avengers are gonna come after the soldiers, and then he's gonna get Iron Man and Captain America and Bucky into the the chain, the Hydra base. Like he has no idea that any of that is gonna happen. His plan is just pure luck. Now the next thing that I didn't love about this movie was the way that they handled Rhodey. Now this is gonna sound a bit morbid, but just hear me out a second. Let's see if you can smell what I'm stepping in. Now, uh. Okay, I, I wish they would have killed him off. Now, I personally, I like the character of Rhodey. I think he served well in the Iron Man movies. Whether he's playing, being played by Terrence Howard or the Cheeds. Gotta love the Cheeds. But I just think that if they would have killed off Rhodey, it would have made this whole the, the whole situation a lot more emotional and impactful. Because how are you going to have Captain America's Civil War without anybody dying? Now, the directors have gone on record saying that they didn't want to kill anybody because they wanted to create stakes in the film without actually having to kill somebody off. And while I do think they did succeed in that, I still think it would have been even more impactful if Rhodey would have, you know... Was that, was that clear? I wanted, I wanted him to die, alright? I wanted him to die! Alright, maybe it's because he's black! Maybe I'm a racist! I don't, I don't know! The next thing that I didn't love about this movie was that the way Iron Man and Captain America's whole, you know, conflict resolves. Because, you know, after Captain America sticks that shield into the arc reactor, I'm like, oh, he did not just do that. Oh, snap, that's a power play, that's a power move right there. I need to not just do that. They're never going to be friends again. How is this ever going to happen? This, then, you know, because Iron Man's all like, that was my father's shield. He made that shield. You don't deserve it. And then Captain America's just like, I don't need that shield. He drops that sucker on the ground. I was just like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this just happened. That was my, that was definitely my genuine reaction. I like yelled that out right in the movie theater. But no, but then it's just like, after all this, it's all emotional. You can really feel the tension and blah, 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 blah. And then Iron, Captain, not Iron Man, Captain America just writes him a little letter. He's just all like, hey, we still cool, right? I mean, all that happened. You blasted my friend's arm off. But we cool, right? Like, is it isn't gonna have any lasting consequences. No, don't do that. Don't do that movie. Let these act. Let, let the things that happen in this movie have future consequences in other movies. I think that would be really cool. And I guess it could still happen, but just writing Captain America writing a little letter just kind of devalues everything else that just happened. And so my last little issue, my last little quarrel, if you want to call it, with the film. Is this little mid credit scene right here. Now, we've just spent, I don't know, how long is this movie? An hour or something, minutes? I, I don't know how long it is, but we've just spent an entire movie following Captain America, trying to get people to, you know, like, respect, accept, you know, at best tolerate Bucky Barnes. And so, what does Bucky Barnes decide to do after all this? Eh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go back to sleep. He's gonna go back to sleep. He's gonna go back into a cryogenic stasis. Really, bro? Your friend went through all this just to get people to like you. 
You're like the weird kid in that's trying to get in with a group of friends and a kid stands up for you. That's this situation. That's the most noble thing anybody can do. And then what do you do? Hey, you know what? I'm just gonna not, I'm just gonna not do this anymore. Like, I know you went through all this trouble, but I'm feeling kind of tired. No, Bucky Barnes. You are a jerk. All right, YouTube commenters, how angry are you with me after that video? Tell me. Feel free. Look, I can take all the hate. Watch my watch my uh, Lego Dimensions video and see how much hate that video got. I love it. I soak in it. All your hate just powers me. It fuels me and causes me to make more videos that you dislike. So bring it on. And while you're doing that, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content? D d yeah, I don't know. I just... Whatever, I don't, I, I don't know how to end videos. I'm not good at it. Go to Google and type in Baby Panthers. You will not be disappointed. I mean, look how cute this is. Oh, look at this one. He's in the grass. Is he hunting something? Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Yeah, this one's fierce. Look at his gnarling his teeth. You know what? That one would probably cut my throat, so I'm just, I'm just going to stay away. I'll, I'll stay away from this one. It's, yeah.